Hey folks, you join me here as I lament that the footage leading up to this point has been corrupted. So, catching up, what we're going to be doing here is we're going to be casting aluminum with whatever I have lying around in the backyard. And for that, I picked up a flower pot, which is going to be the furnace, the forge, and I've cut a hole into it so I can put the propane torch through it. And the dish for the pot, I put a hole on it also, and it's going to be the lid. Alright, since we're doing this with whatever I could put together here in the backyard, this is going to be my crust. It is a stainless steel can that I just put some bolts to it so I can take it in and out of the, of the furnace. Even though it's stainless steel when it's melting temperature is higher than aluminum, steel when it heats up it tends to combine with oxygen form fire scale and it tends to degrade over time. This being extremely thin I expect it to fail really quick. So to try to mitigate that problem, I'm going to give it a coat of borax, like we do when uh, seasoning a crucible for melting precious metals. I don't know if that is a legitimate way of protecting it or anything, but in my mind it might work. Time to light this thing up. I do expect it to fail at some point, because it is just a clay pot and it's not made for this. I'm gonna try giving it heat slowly so maybe it will not crack so quickly. Now while that is happening, I'm going to heat up the crucible so I can season it with some borax. hear the clay already cracking. Alright, time to make some muffins. Muffin? Not that kind of muffin. Alright, let's see what we got here. Here are our muffins. People usually quench them in water, I'm just gonna let them cool down naturally. So let's see overall. This must have had some non-stick coating of some sort that is now ruined. Probably very toxic. That's a lot of slag and dross. The flower pot is cracked, but it's still standing. And the crucible, well, it might actually be still useful. Or usable. I might be able to get another use out of it. So, Yes, we can melt aluminum with whatever we have laying in the backyard and make some aluminum muffins. So now that I got all this aluminum, what else can I make?